Good morning from Copenhagen. I am having breakfast in my hotel. It was 75 crowns. And they have a nice restaurant downstairs at the hotel here. Breakfast was amazing, very healthy, and I noticed that there's no fast food restaurants around here, which is really actually a great thing, because now you're forced to eat healthy. <laughs> I'm forced to eat healthy, which is a good thing. And food is a lot more expensive out here, but so worth it. So right now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to actually look for my uh, bus stop for my tour for tomorrow for Sweden because I want to make sure that I don't miss my bus tomorrow morning. So my Molly Coon brothers and sisters, I really had a fantastic day today. I went out and I toured different areas of the city. So I'm going to show you a couple of those areas. This is actually a public bathroom. It's very interesting. <laughs> I went inside. Uh, it wasn't the cleanest, but it wasn't that dirty either, and they had lots of toilet paper. So I'm waiting for my tour bus to pick me up for the next stop. Looks like it's coming right now. They have amazing shopping, little shops all over the city. They have wonderful cafes, restaurants, small coffee houses with baked goods. So I went into this grocery store called Rima 1000 and it's really close to all of the hotels in the area over by Central Station. And I thought that everything was really expensive. So I was really kind of cheap about what I bought. And I thought I came to about probably $19 in United States money, American money. Um, but then after I got my things home uh, to my hotel, I looked at my receipt and it said $2. <laughs> I actually looked at my bank account online too, it said like $2. So I bought a loaf of bread, two sticks of butter, um, two bananas, and a can of coca-cola i think that was it for two dollars that was um actually really cheap <laughs> like, here i've been thinking of spending so much money um uh, maybe i'm mistaken i'm really terrible when it comes to uh numbers and mathematics in the grocery store and i'm looking for bread the Danish grocery store and I'm going to buy some items here and some fresh bread. You can see the prices are very high for food in Denmark. So I was able to wander around over by the palaces and over in the actual stables of the king and queen of Denmark. And so they have some beautiful horses in there. I just want to show you those.
These are the royal stables and these are the horses of the king and queen of Denmark. I want to show you these beautiful architectural buildings. They're just so gorgeous and the whole city is covered with them. You just find beautiful architecture everywhere. And I was able to actually see some changing of the guards. I think it's called changing of the guards. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what they're called actually, but you know, the the royal guardsmen with the big black furry hats. They were out marching around. So I got them on camera so I can show you that. Street food for fairly cheap. There's a 7 Eleven on almost every corner of Denmark, and they do have a grocery store. It's called Rima 1000. was not able to locate a mosque yet out here but when I was out touring around I came across a beautiful I think it's Catholic Cathedral and I went inside so I wanted to show you that because it was just so lovely and they were playing a, it's like a pipe organ you never really get to see pipe organs or hear pipe organs and so I wanted you to be able to experience that. It was so lovely. I spent about 15 minutes inside. Thank you. 
this um, beautiful store. It was called the House of Amber, and I was looking for a piece of jewelry to take home as my souvenir uh, in remembrance of my trip out here uh, to Denmark and Sweden. So here's a little tip for all you travelers when you get out here to Denmark. Everything is pretty much closed on Monday rather than Sunday. So the tour buses are limited and they shut down early and a lot of other things like the museums and things like that, they are closed. So I had a fantastic time touring around and exploring anyway, but I wasn't able to see as many things as I wanted to see. Um, because it is Monday and things were closed but um, the city is so beautiful at night and you can hear music playing it's very very clean here there is little to no trash and you don't see homeless people all over the streets begging for money or anything like that I saw one person only um, and he was playing a musical instrument um, and actually I think I saw a woman that was selling some things but that was it and people don't even worry about locking their bicycles they don't even bother worrying about collecting your train ticket after you purchased a ticket for the train anything like that so I don't know it's really it's been really refreshing to be in a place that's so extremely clean and so law-abiding and safe. Um, it's been really nice. And it's kind of <laughs> kind of surprising because they actually have a lot of um, bars where you can get alcohol. I don't drink alcohol because I'm just not like that anyway, but Muslims don't drink. Uh, and they're also a lot of um, sex shops like um, places where they have nude women dancers and sexy clothing and all that kind of thing and but there's like no crime um, so that's wonderful I actually did find one fast food restaurant <laughs> tonight when I was walking around looking at all the lights in the buildings and taking pictures I saw one tiny little hidden McDonald's and I was kind of disappointed to see it, but it's there. It's the only fast food place I've seen since I've been here. The city is beautiful at night. It's very safe. People don't even lock up their bicycles here and they don't even ask for your train ticket after you buy the ticket. It's very safe, very clean place. I'm going to go into this cafe here called Mago and have some fun. So I went out to eat at this restaurant called Mado and I was pleasantly surprised to see that almost the entire inside of the restaurant were Muslims. Um, a lot of Muslims. I see Muslims in town here sometimes walking around more than in the United States for sure. Um, but when I, <laughs> Allah must have sent me to this restaurant because it was just full of sisters and there were some brothers in there too and I just had some really wonderful Mediterranean type food and I was just really pleased. Um, it was really nice. When I was walking around outside looking at the lights I noticed that they are getting ready for Christmas which is really beautiful it's a beautiful celebration and um, I was kind of disappointed because they're gonna have everything out and ready on November 16th and I leave on the 15th <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this vlog. This is vlog number two of my series on Denmark, Copenhagen. And I'm actually gonna go to bed and get some sleep. Going to bed early tonight because I have to get up early because I'm catching a bus uh, out to Sweden. So I'm taking a tour bus to Sweden and we are going to two cities out there. So that will be um, number three on my travel vlogs will be Sweden. So stay tuned. If you didn't subscribe, hit the button below and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Please leave a comment. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions on what I should be looking at, where I should go, great places to eat, or really good coffee, please let me know. Um, put a comment below. I will see it. I'm out here until Friday. Salam! Mm -hmm.